All right, so this video is going to be how to do some simple statistics in R. I'm going to load up my program here. I'm running version 2.10.1. Uh, and the statistics that I'm going to use, let me show you my data file. I'm going to be using uh, an ANOVA analysis of variance. It's a two-way ANOVA. So I have two independent factors affecting the dependent variable essentially, which my data here, age pressure is blood pressure and age. So systolic blood, blood pressure here and then diastolic blood pressure over here. And I've got a, just again, this is just sample data. I got this a couple years back from one of my statistics courses, age over here. So 22 year old with 114 over 74 blood pressure, 46 year old. 130 over 90. And the research question that I'm asking is, is there a relationship between age and blood pressure? Or is there a relationship between age and systolic blood pressure? Is there a relationship between age and diastolic blood pressure? So my null hypothesis is that there is, in fact, no relationship between the two. So I'm testing that hypothesis. So I've opened up R. First thing I need to do is load in the data. I'm going to use the command read table, which looks like this. Read table. Now I need to find my file. My file is located documents, FAU, statistics, my data, age pressure. So I'm going to type all that in. Documents, FAU, statistics. Uh, my data age pressure dot text. Now this next step is very important. Header equals true. I'll show you what this means in a moment. I'm going to assign it to age pressure. So I just stored this file age pressure text into that command. So every time I type the command age pressure I get my file which I just showed you was right here. So this is a formula. It's a tab delimited file and R accepts these pretty easily. So I've got my file here. Now I put header equals true or T because if I didn't these headers would, would take up the first row. So I'm going to show you if I did header equals false. And I can use the up command with my up arrows. That, that travels through the last commands that I used. Very important. It's that's a time saver and it's, it's going to be something that you will use frequently. So up, up, header equals false. What happens if I do header equals false? I type in age pressure again or, as you just learned, you can arrow up, age pressure. I scroll up and you see that because I said there was no header, it's false, that's not true with this, there's no header, that it took the first row as data. It, it took the header and put it into the first row of data. So I've got variable one, variable two, and that's not what I want. Up, 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 header equals true, age pressure, we're moving on. So now, now I need to create a simple uh, ANOVA. I'm going to be doing that uh, after I attach this file. Attach, let me just explain what attach is. So look at my variables, age, systolic, diastolic. To get to them, to retrieve them, recall them, I can go age pressure, that's my the object that I, I created, money sign, and age. Or if I hit it, if I type attach, this attaches it and it knows that everything I type hereafter is going to be from the age pressure object. I saved myself some time. Now I just type in age, systolic, diastolic, saving time. I'm going to create my ANOVA model. We'll call it age pressure. The AOV. I'm going to assign it uh, with the less than and a little hyphen. You should know this. I'll probably make a video explaining simple commands. AOV analysis analysis of variance. I got the parentheses. Now the dependent variable is going to be age, modeled by systolic pressure, and I'm going to do an asterisk which denotes uh, an interaction. I'm also looking for an interaction. If I just did plus, 
diastolic, it wouldn't do the interaction. Interaction diastolic. Summary AP.AOV and see what I found. For the systolic in age, there is a it's significant, there's a significant relationship. Three stars, significant code, zero, it's it's the probability of significance here for systolic blood pressure and age falls between 0 and 0 0.001, so highly significant. So as, it, well, you'll, uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, diastolic, and it's also significant for diastolic blood pressure and age. So it looks like there's a relationship there, a significant relationship between blood pressure and age. Now, does it go up or does it go down? We'll have to do a, a Pearson's correlation co coefficient test or correlation test. And this diastolic blood pressure is significant at that level, or I'm sorry, at this level here, between 0.01 and 0.05. R is good because it gives you a few more numbers, whereas other programs like PASW or SPSS, they don't really give you much more than the, uh, I believe, the hundredths place. All right, so let's see what the relationship looks like. We get, uh, Nova says there, there's a difference. So uh, I've already rejected my null hypothesis that there is, in fact, a relationship between blood pressure and age. Now, w what kind of relationship? We can do more statistics. Core.test is a correlation test. I'm going to do age, and you see x, that's going to be the x on the x-axis, or that would, that would be for the plot. That would make sense in a moment again. Uh, and systolic. Age and systolic. There's a significant relationship here, too, as well. 4.5, so e exponent to the negative 7, so I move this 7 to the left, so very significant correlation is r is, that's the cores is that's the R value, lower R, lowercase R, which is 0.59. It's a positive linear relationship. So as age goes up, systolic blood blood pressure also goes up. We can do a plot to make this uh, a little bit more graphic, and the visual learners can see what I'm talking about. So a plot, age is on the x-axis. As you get older your systolic blood pressure increases. It's a significant relationship. One step further, leaving this, this window up, I'm going to create a, a simple linear model uh, with the response variable or the uh, dependent variable first. I use a tilde this time, not a comma. Age, I'm going to assign this to, let's just call it line. I'm going to make an AB line, which is a line of best fit, and type in line here. And now you see that uh, this is my this could be my regression equation. So if you were 70 years old, you would go here, and based on this on my data, one would have a blood pressure of around 142 systolic blood pressure. Now the more people you have, the more accurate the data will be. Same thing here, I'm going to do a correlation test with age and diastolic blood pressure. And again, we've got a correlation of an R of 0.59. Highly significant, the probability is less than 0.05. And graphically, we're going to represent this age and diastolic blood pressure. And it looks pretty similar in one regard because there's a direct relationship as you get older, the diastolic blood pressure also goes up and for completeness we'll create a simple linear model to to pull the coefficients I'm just going to override the line command the, the line object that I just stored and pull it up and then there's the line of best fit for that now look what I type in coefficients or coef and I pull the line I've got the the intercept here so 57 here is the y-intercept, and I also got my slope. Um, and let's just do the correlation test between systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Significant p-value is less than 0.05. Positive relationship, highly significant, 0.75. So as systolic blood pressure goes up with age, so does diastolic blood pressure. So you can't have one without the other, I suppose. 
let's do a plot really fast systolic and diastolic it's a bit depressing I guess I guess not because if you have low systolic blood pressure then you also have low diastolic blood pressure according to this data uh, set which is which is fortunate for individuals who are positive and want to keep healthy uh, and then that's that's basically it you know how it, you know how you would make a line a uh, best fit